Good morning, here we are at day 12 of our Bible Books Challenge. Have you given any thought to the major characters in the Old Testament and where they appear in time order, uh, that is chronologically? Why don't you list all the characters you can think of and think about what order they appear in the Bible? Maybe start with all the characters appearing in Genesis, it's, it's a huge book in its own right. So let's get started, uh, remember We've got two pictures that we need to work out which book of the Bible uh, they represent, the picture represents, and secondly, we've been spending a little bit of time in each of those books uh, to find out a little bit more about that book. Uh, we had two pictures yesterday. Uh, first of all, picture 23. As you will see, we have a cycling judge. This book reminds us of judges which is the seventh book of the Old Testament. You've got Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua and Judges. This book reminds us of the Judges, which is about the dreadful cycles of events that repeat themselves throughout the book. As you've observed the picture, can you see how many spokes in the back wheel and how many spokes in the front wheel? In the back wheel there are seven spokes and these remind us that the cycle of events repeats seven times throughout the book. There are five spokes in the front wheel and this reminds us that there are five main steps in each of those seven cycles. Firstly, the people stop following God. They rebel against him. Secondly, they find themselves trapped in bad ways, often with a nation that lives around them, oppressing them in some way. Thirdly, they cry out to God, saying sorry to him. They repent. You remember, we've looked at that word briefly already in uh, our Bible book challenges in a previous one. But they say sorry to him. Fourthly, God sends a godly judge. He sends a rescuer to rescue them from their situation. And fifth and finally, there is peace in the land whilst the judge is alive and in charge. The judges we read most about in this book are Deborah and Gideon and Samson, unlikely characters for God to use. But there are others mentioned as well, uh, particularly Othniel and a man called Ehud. Well, that's picture number 23. Here is picture number 24. If you look carefully, this is an eggless nest. It's an empty nest. Does that sound like a book in the Old Testament? How about Ecclesiastes? It's a book about emptiness, or rather emptiness. King Solomon probably wrote it towards the end of his life after trying most things life has to offer he finally realised that only following God brings real meaning to life. His advice to young people is not to wait until their hair turns grey and their teeth fall out to follow God, but to remember their creator God while they are young. It is God who, when we're following his ways, gives us fullness of life. So there's our two pictures uh, from yesterday, and here is our two pictures for tomorrow or for us to consider today, and I'll give you the answers tomorrow. There's the first one, that's picture number 25, and picture number 26, which is perhaps a little familiar if you've been doing the Bible Books Challenge from the beginning. Well, I'll be back tomorrow with the answers to those two pictures. Uh, enjoy uh, studying and looking through and uh, observing those two uh, particular two books. Have lots of fun, I pray and hope that you are continuing to have lots of fun, uh, but that you are also staying safe uh, and working within your networks through various means of social networking. I will see you tomorrow, so God bless.